is a uh, pretty trippy uh, start screen. So let's jump in and trip out together. What's up, guys and gals, and welcome to the Outer Middle Show. Mad Vlad is the name. And please wake up. Is the game. And in today's episode, we're going to try out something new. I have terrible ADHD. And, uh, you know, I forget stuff instantly. I can't focus on one thing at a time. I can't focus at all on things I don't want to focus on. So, uh, yeah, I, apparently this game will test you mentally. I don't know exactly how. Somebody gave me a brief description of what the game was about before I decided to purchase it. I watched like maybe 10 seconds of the trailer and was like, eh, whatever. This may go into the Triple F gameplay. Who knows? Let's shut our mouths. Let's hit new game. Let's test our memory. Oh, God, we got a warning. This game uses optical illusions that can have minor visual effects lasting for months. What? Lasting for months. I already don't want to play this game now. Uh, view the illusions at your own risk. The developer is not liable for any negative or damaged effects that can occur as a result of this game. We recommend providing this warning for anyone else who may be viewing. Uh, use of this illusion can be turned off in the settings. Okay. Establishing connection. Are you able to read this? Uh, yes. Please respond with no. Okay, no. Please respond with yes. Yes. Please respond with no. Yeah, so it's start. It's trying to piss me off is what it's doing. Uh, does 2 plus 3 equal 5? Uh, yes. Is the ocean red? No. Is the Monopoly man's monocle bigger than his hat? No. Is a shoe smaller than a house? Yes. Is Curious George's tail shorter than his finger? <laughs> no. Patient has completed cognitive testing. Begin self-identity test. Is your name Thomas Mandel Mandelina? No. Are you 13 years old? <laughs> no. Were you born in Wyoming? No. Your mother's first name is Angela. No. Patient has failed self-identify -identif testing. Hello, Thomas. This is Dr. James Mass communication, communicating from the Tard C County, whatever. If you're reading this right now, don't be alarmed. This may seem absurd to you, but you are currently in a coma. Your brain waves indicate that you are currently hallucinating or dreaming. We do not know what you may currently be experiencing, but it is very important that you follow my instructions in order to wake up. Okay. This is very likely that you have recently experienced a loss of identity. To help you regain your identity, we will be stimulating your hippocampus with reaction me reactive memories and events leading up to your identity loss. Due to the nature of your specific circumstance, your mind may attempt to alter these memories. Do not let your mind alter these memories. If the memory becomes too unstable, you may be unable to wake up. Is this message understood? Yeah, sure. Great. Memory stimulation will begin in 3, 2, 1. Yeah. Look around the room and pay attention. Objects may change when not visible. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, this is one of those games where you have to pay attention to your surroundings. Now, I don't know exactly what this game's about. I just know it messes with your head. Uh, so let's try to memorize what we're seeing here. Uh, three buttons, two buttons, two buttons, uh, wood stereo chair with a dot in the top left hand corner, eraser, chalk, uh, white table, wood top, uh, E equals MC squared, Albert Einstein. Okay. So we start out in this room. Why is it highlighting everything? 
Okay. And as we turn around the room, it's supposed to, I think it, the sound will get louder and more objects have changed. Did you notice the front board has changed? Click on it to change it back. Yes. Okay. Do not click on the object that have not changed. I want you to take a good look at your surroundings. Pay okay. very close attention to the things around you. Now, close your eyes. If you're indoors, do you remember what color the walls are? Do you remember where the lights are? If something in your surroundings were to change, like the texture of the ceiling or the position of items in front of you, would you notice? No. We like to believe that our memory and perception form true snapshots of the world around us. But upon close inspection, we begin to see that they are just fragile fabrications constructed by our brains. On today's episode of the Natural Sciences Podcast, we will explore the nature of our memories, perception, and the brain. I'm opening my eyes. So we got to click on everything that changes. Classroom, Earth and Universe. Uh, Memory 26, is something that September. we rely on each and every day. On a basic level, we use it to help locate our keys and to remember computer passwords. However, on a more fundamental level, Memory plays a key role in our personal identity, beliefs, and behavior. Without memory, we wouldn't have any real connection to the things we've accomplished, the events we've experienced, or the people we love. 17th century British philosopher John Locke argued that personal identity, or the self, is founded on memory. That is to say that your memory is what defines you as an individual over time, not your physical body or soul. Nonetheless, even though we trust our memories to form our beliefs and identities, our memories themselves are highly error prone. To talk about this, we are interviewing Dr. Agatha Cage, a psychologist at the University of Michigan, about the nature of human memory. So what is memory and why is it important? That's a good question. At a basic level, memory is just the way our mind stores and remembers information. However, such a basic definition would understate its importance. We need memories in order to get a basic grasp of the world around us. Memories tell us who we are, the things we've done, and our goals in life. It's difficult to properly convey its meaning to us as human beings, so instead I'll explain it through the story of a man named Scott Bolzan. When Mr. Bolzan was 46 years old, he had accomplished a lot in his life. He oh, attended I found Northern some. Illinois University on a full athletic scholarship and played football professionally for a few years after graduating, even briefly playing for the New England Patriots. After an injury that ended his football career, he then became an entrepreneur. He owned and operated a financial planning firm and then became a pilot and ran a successful private jet management company. During this time, he also met and married his wife and raised his two children. However, in December of 2010, he had a workplace accident and lost all of his memories leading up to that point. When he had awoken from the hospital, he didn't even recognize his wife I'm for doing good. five years. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, so I was noticing subtle changes. Like I said, my memory sucks. I want you to take a good look. But, but the, them talking kind of throws me off. I think that's another thing that throws you off. Now, close your eyes. Black chair. Do you remember blackboard? What color the walls white desk. Do you remember yeah. where the lights are? Door. I'm just gonna if look around. In your surroundings. White shelves. Change, white. Like the texture of the ceiling. Bro. Or the position of items in front. Floor of you. is brick we looking with wood grain. <laughs> I don't know. Ceiling is tan. <laughs> Picture is of uh, a church. We begin to see that they okay. are just fragile fabrications. Door change. Or did it? Is it a brown? Has it been a brown door? The Natural Sciences Podcast. Podcast, we will explore the nature of our memories, perception, and the brain. Wall, wall changed. Okay. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Did that change? Memory I don't think it did. That did. On each and every day. On a basic level, we use the it to have ceiling didn't keys, change. Floor didn't change. Passwords. However, on a more fundamental level. Memory plays a key role in our personal identity, beliefs, and behavior. Without memory, we wouldn't have any real connection to the things. Okay, so he's just going to continue to talk. That changed. All the people we love. 
17th century British philosopher John Locke argued right. that personal right. identity we're doing, we're doing good. itself is founded on memory. That is, the floor say, hasn't changed, ceiling hasn't changed. Is what defines you as an individual? At least I don't think it has. Not to your physical body or soul. Nonetheless, even though we trust our memories to form our beliefs, I don't remember there being a door our there. Memories themselves are highly. Wow, empty. I'm so stupid. To talk about this, we are interviewing Dr. Okay. Agatha Kent, wall change, psychologist, at wall the change, of Michigan, that change, about the nature of human memory. So, that what changed. is memory, and why is it important? That's a good question. At a basic level, memory is just the way our mind stores and remembers I think information. Think the clock changed. However, such a basic definition would understate its Oh god, I don't want to click it. We ah, need memories in order yes! to get a basic Okay, so it's 8 o'clock. Memories tell us That's something are, I didn't notice. The ceiling changed. It's difficult to properly convey its All right. to yep, that so changed. Instead, I'll explain it through the story of a man named Scott I think the desk changed. When Mr. Bolzan was 46 years old, he had accomplished a lot nope. in his life. I he screwed up. The text it looks like the texture changed. And played football professionally. Ben, it's for messing with my brain. That changed. Even briefly playing for the New England Patriots. After an injury hmm, that, that changed, his career, he then became an entrepreneur. He owned and operated a financial planning firm. I hate this. This is terrible. That changed. Private jet management company. During this time, he also met and married his wife and raised his two children. That However, changed. In December of 2010, he had a work this is a and lost all <laughs> this of his is weird, bro. When he had awoken from the hospital, God, he didn't man, testing my memory is like that changed. In an interview with ABC News, Mr. Bolzan described the experience as just. I wonder how long lost, this game actually is. Events such as his first date, his first kiss with his wife, his wedding day, the birth of his children, he had. And it changes as no we spin. And no emotional attachment to. He this is supposed to be the to easy any level. Of the important people in his life, his parents. See, wife, her kids, talking relatives, is completely like supposed to distract you. To run his company. The texture. Saying, because I have Why is the texture of the wall messing with me? I don't know what my dreams, my Yeah, so one more mistake and we're screwed. Were. Imagine this happening to you. If you lost your memories, you would lose oh, everything. Oh God! You. you, the things that you've accomplished, the relationships you've built, the knowledge okay. that you've acquired. Okay. I think this is just a test. That definitely changed. When we think about what it's like to live without our memories, it's that changed. That changed. becomes much That more changed. Mr. Bolzan's story is quite compelling. That changed. It seems as though memory is incredibly foundational to our own. Yeah, so him speaking identity. is supposed to Yet distract you. That changed. That changed. That changed. Trusted, that that changed. Is that true? That is it's so crazy! Think. I don't like this. That, that changed. Static snapshots of the world that changed. Instead, they're more like malleable stories I'm actually pretty damn smart. I'll go over some the floor kind of looks like it changed, but I don't know. The fallibility of our memories. The first that experiment changed. I'll talk about was conducted by Professor Elizabeth Loftus and some of her colleagues at the University of That changed of again. That changed again. Simple. Researchers showed participants that changed. a video of a car crash. Oh man, dude. One of two questions. I hope you guys aren't going insane like I am. This is driving me absolutely bonkers. When they hit each other. The Lasting was, effects months after month? Going when they smashed yeah, that's right. Each other. Despite the fact that participants yeah, saw yeah, yeah. the Shut the hell up. Video, the I'm sick of you talking. The second question claims that, the the was question claims that your butt smells like hot wax under the summer sun. A follow-up study showed that when If you would please shut your mouth was so I can think. At the scene, the participants who were asked the second question were Okay, far so more likely that sound that is actually getting dimmer and dimmer. Question. There was no broken glass. Like how long does this, this go? Study shows that memory is That's my question. Suggestible. What we think is objective oh, truth yeah, that about what we have observed that is didn't change. What our that brain didn't change. Reconstruct and create on the spot. That changed. Another series of studies looked at ways that to take advantage of errors in this that reconstruction changed. of memory, otherwise known as confabulation. That changed. For example, these studies oh investigate the implantation techniques this messing that with make me, dog. participants believe they experienced events that never took place. I don't know if in I like it. Study from it's so weird how the desk changed and I didn't notice. Researchers Back wall. Were able to plant rich, that changed. False memories into we don't want the kid to jump out and bite off our peepees. Things like committing a crime or getting attacked by a dog. That we don't want. All this want. implies that our memories aren't just fallible, they're exploitable. Our yeah, brains yeah, are yeah. capable of just No, they're not. Shut your mouth. You're trying to distract me. Us that they're not true. listening to you. So, we've established that memory is fundamental to our experiences and identity. We've yeah, also Yeah, I know that because when you think you remember stuff and when you remember stuff you think 
How do we reconcile? Okay, that's how the human brain works. How do we know what part? Because when I see something, I know what it is, and when I don't see it, I don't know what it is. Simple as that, bro. There's nothing weird about memory. Okay, nothing weird at all. Who cares if you don't remember the color of the board? That's not important. So you want to sit there and you want to lecture me? I'll lecture you right back. You think you can talk over me? You can't. In 1984, when Jane was oh, God. six years old, she was interviewed oh, about sexual abuse allegedly committed by her mother. The evidence yeah, that included changed. marks on her That's the first time that, resulted from her mother that the radio the changed. Stove. Eleven years later, though, it seemed as though she had completely forgotten about the incident. Changed. The tapes, changed. She vividly changed. Remembered the incidents and believed that Damn her mother it. had abused her. Most when is the floor going to gonna change? Don't believe that she was lying. I can understand for a lot of you this is boring. But New it's not to me. I have to exercise my mind. The marks on Jane's hands and feet okay. seemed to actually be the result of a skin infection. So the louder the heartbeat, also found two pieces the more changes have taken place. And if it gets too out of hand, was a report from a clinical psychologist then a uh, kid will jump out and the bite the tip of your pee-pee. The second involved documents from we don't like that. Services okay. investigation in which Jane's mother was not found to have committed Things aren't changing abuse. dramatically. I know this is only the first step, that Jane's father, who was in but a custody battle with it's not mother, anything like crazy on this one. Clock change. Today, most Experts agree that the abuse change, likely change, did not happen change. and that Jane's false memories came from her father's oh, floor change finally. Wow. The consequences of this had huge effects on Jane's Oh life. my to god, stay, things are changing like crazy. Isn't. If our core memories that shape our identity and relationships with others can just be Oh man, dude, it's going ham on me right now. Could we just be an entirely different there person we than go. we believe? Jane Doe is quoted as saying, what are Nobody we, cares about Jane Doe, and I, I really appreciate you shut your mouth. Are as as some researchers want us to yeah, so the are. faster it gets, the harder it gets for sure. What are we doing here? Oh, God! Breaking news coming out of Tarrant County, Wyoming. Police Four are changed. looking for a missing 12-year-old child named... Yeah, and who cares? I don't care right now. You're a liar because this is a video game, so no kids have went missing. What? <laughs> I must have missed a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, that's loud. <laughs> Alright, I think we're further along than we were. Our brains are capable of just making up stories. So now we're just spinning around and So we've established We have to spin around really fast, man. We've also it's getting established pretty stupid. How do we reconcile these two? Okay, we're doing good though. How do we know? The what hardest thing is paying attention while this turd is talking. Ultimately, we can't That's the hardest thing about this because, like I said, I have trouble multitasking. And, criminal and, I, and if I keep talking like I'm talking now, Initially, her case was used as well I can't focus as good. Memories. In 1984, when Jane was so, six years old, she was interviewed about sexual abuse allegedly oh God. by her mother. The evidence included oh, marks no. on her hands and feet that resulted from her mother burning them. Oh the yeah, it's it's hitting me hard later, now. Though, it seemed as though she had completely it's going ham on me now. Incident. Upon viewing the tapes, waiting for that floor to change as well. And believed that her mother had abused her. Oh man, dude, this is uh. Don't believe that she was lying. This is kind of tough. Eight years after that, the report was brought into question. New but we're, I think we're doing good now, Jane though. Claims. The marks on Jane's hands and feet seemed to actually be I know that, uh, I, I've, in the trailer, I saw a different, uh, the story into question. a different the map, a so... From a clinical psychologist at the time, which suggested that the story was confabulated. The second involved documents... Yeah, we gotta spin around like a madman. ...in which Jane's mother was not found to have committed any such abuse. Hit these things. Furthermore, they found evidence that Jane's father... You just, you just gotta spin real quick. It's probably a little disorienting to anybody watching. Today, most but experts agree that the abuse when I'm faced with a challenge, happen, I have to hit it as hard as I can. False memories came from her father's suggestions when she was young. The consequences of this had huge And I know you guys are probably spotting things that I'm not. Sure of what is true and what isn't. If our core memories that So if you spot something that I don't relationships with others can just be just shut up. Incorrect, <laughs> what does this say about us? Could we just be right, an changed. entirely different person than we what else believe? We got? Yeah, that Jane changed. Doe is quoted as saying, "What are we if not that our changed. life experiences?" Ooh, we got to be fast, bro. Memories are as fallible as some researchers want we us to believe. We got to be are. pretty what fast. What are we doing? Floor change. Oh, come on, the floor. Breaking news coming out of Tarrant County, Wyoming. Police are looking Bookshelf, for a missing 12-year-old child named Timothy McCullough. 
Boy Color. Is in danger. He's five Ooh, feet tall this is tough. Brown hair and blue eyes. Ceiling. He was last seen wearing a blue t-shirt and gray I just heard shorts. somebody run up. Ford County Police say that he may have been with his estranged Okay, father, did I beat it? I think I beat it. John McCullough, who was recently yep, from I think I got it. If observed, please call 911. Yeah, test my memory. Brat! Establishing connection. Hello, Thomas. This is Dr. James Mass again. We will be conducting an interview to make sure the process is working. We will be asking questions to confirm your memories by matching them with eyewitness reports of the incident. Your answers will also be used in Jeffrey McCall's upcoming criminal trial. Is this message understood? Yeah, sure, whatever, Doc. Great. Were you able to view a memory? Uh, no. I don't think very much. Uh. We may need to restart simulation if your experience does not match up with eyewitness reports. Oh, I see. Are you sure about your answers? Oh my god. So, maybe we were supposed to listen? No, I'm not sure with my answer. Okay, we will continue with the interview then. So you have to listen? In this memory, did you see like you were in an asylum uh yes oh come on man it wasn't an asylum it was a classroom but i'm just being stupid come on man you're not detecting my sense of humor no i'm not it did seem out like i was in an asylum because i felt insane while i was doing it you were in a classroom yes i was in a classroom was the detention supervisor miss skinner present no was an education radio program being played? Yes. Jeffrey McConnell is 37 years old. Uh, 730 white male, blue eyes. He is 5'7 in height, weighs about 150 pounds, and is bald. Were you approached by Mr. McCall during the scene? No. Great. We will conduct memory stimulation once your brain readings indicate that you are ready. Ah! Ah! Okay, level two. Yes, Maybe. Uh, perception is really a, a funny oh. thing. I think most people take for granted the idea that what we consciously perceive is actually an accurate snapshot oh, of reality. Oh, no. Most people seem to think that our perception is just a window into oh, the world around us. Oh, this is bad. What, what do you mean by This that? is way is worse, dog. True? Well, it's pretty clear to tell that we don't always consciously oh, perceive come on. everything that our brain receives as input right? here we if go you did, bro uh, you'd be i'm not going to be able to get any of this and you would always feel this is too much for my brain to handle but we don't. <laughs> i don't remember seeing our that brain saw selectively attends to certain aspects of our perception i don't sure, remember that side of the wall the being reality. yeah that, that was open it, right? that ah seem so to be the case either I think one of the most oh, clear ways no. to show that is through illusions. I... Um, illusions show us how the brain alters our reality. Um, since this is a radio show, wow, it keyed I, me I out. That was weird. Really show any optical illusions to your listeners. Um, instead, um, I'll be demonstrating. I a psh, that wall was no, I want you that wall was not white, bro. And I want you to tell me if you understand that. Anything. Okay, go ahead and jump scare me. I don't care. Oh, yeah, that was sounds, not there. It just sounds like static noise. Uh, Here, that was uh, white, that was white, again. that was white, I think. No, wait a minute. That was not white, yes. Yeah, that was not there. Sorry, still nothing. Now I'm going that to play was apparently was there. Did Saw was there. I thought the beds were different. Oh, I'm going to die. You understand that one, right? Oh, yeah. I don't even remember that chair yeah, being the there. Juice of lemons makes fine punch. Yeah, I don't remember the rug either. Now, I'm going to play back the original yeah. clip, and I want you to tell me wow. you understand. Oh my sense. god, this one's bad, bro. This one is absolutely Here, terrible. Let me play it again. Okay. Yeah, I absolutely hate this. Yeah, it's saying the same thing. Exactly. Would you stop doing that? The same exact clip that you heard the first time. The sensory inputs to your brain were identical. Oh yeah, yeah. so dead body After definitely wasn't the there. This wall is not audio, that color. That was not there. 
Uh, this shows us that your brain is actually filling in It's starting to piss me off. You're not directly experiencing the sensory that was not your there brain. you're experiencing your brain's interpretation of those yeah I screwed that up didn't mean In to do that words, high voltage that was always high voltage dog come on man now it's really messing with my brain your conscious perception um moreover you can't really i don't remember the floor looking like that words. yeah when okay I play the clip now, you have no control over this <laughs> I'm just going to close my eyes. Seems to be more if I don't look at that, it won't fool me. Yeah. Screw that up. That wasn't there. That wasn't actually, there. Uh, no. Uh, LSD That wasn't like that. In the movies. This wall's um, not like that. That is high voltage. LSD Dead body that wasn't really there. Give you that was. Instead, it shows that real life ah! the hallucination. Some users say that okay. LSD gives them a better that wasn't like that true reality that well, it, oh yeah well whatever reality that I wasn't like that constructs. that wasn't like that uh, oops actually I didn't mean to do that that control perception and normal perception wow. is also just a more controlled I am kind of in deep trouble this sounds like hippie science to me kind well, of in deep uh, what trouble what I really mean by hallucination is that our perception is more constructed okay. by our brain than it is a direct I'm I'm getting, product of our I'm getting better. Senses. All of this research points to the fact that um, we don't live in the world. We don't we live, live in, in the world. We live in our heads. The world, the world is just a representation of our heads it's not because we're stupid. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. What is out there? What's out um, there is you're stupid, and you don't remember enough to not be smart. Uh, so, I'll read you a quote so from one of my if you remember Professor that Hamel you're not remembering things, Sussex, then said, you will understand why things that you remember aren't really what you remember. We actively I'm gonna die. Oh shit. The world yep. we experience comes as it comes much from our mind. From the, the world we experience the is in. a we representation of our brain time. matter. When we it has nothing to do with the world. We call that reality. Man, all this stupid psychological stuff, man. I don't care about any of it. So our perception of the outside world isn't Our perception really of the outside world is actually just a representation of how stupid one human being is. Everything we perceive is really a pile of dog shit. Why do I keep clicking on that? Exactly. And and there's a very clear precedent for that. Dreaming. While in a dream, in a dream we remember that we are dreaming, dream. and when we wake up, we understand we that the dream was not actually a dream, but it was thinking, on the fly. not like a dream, but more like the human mind. <laughs> Shut up. And trying to make sense of everything, man. Dreams show us You'll drive yourself our crazy thinking about that stuff. Our conscious minds. Uh-oh. 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 It's getting crazy uh, on me. That's the thing. That's just it. it. If you be. don't think our about what could be, then you'll never know what that was. We hardly notice things that we're not focusing on. Um, that ain't helping. Way to demonstrate this. Close your eyes. Okay. You walked into my office. Close your eyes. Sat down in that chair, uh, Open your mouth. Ago, <laughs> yes. Okay. And you will understand so what color is the, chair the meaning of the color of the chair, especially when something lands in your mouth. When something lands in your mouth, you will understand that it is not that what landed in your mouth is soft and hard. But what you should focus on is that you like it. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, you can open your eyes now. All right, I'm opening my eyes. Ah, okay. So the floor is God dang it, let me do that. Is actually blue, and the carpet has a checkerboard. The carpet has a checkerboard in yeah. my ass. Uh, getting one out of four questions. Getting right one out of four bad, questions means that you smell like poopy. You walked in the room and, and saw the floor, but didn't really. But notice didn't really notice the that the poop on the floor was actually from a dog's ass. If I change the color of your chair or your carpet when your eyes were closed, God dang it, the ceiling changed. What about the <sighs> this is just this is absolutely bonkers. I don't know how this is testing my ability to remember things. For the listeners at home, you probably 
Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. The Google logo countless times. Can you but tell me what color the letter is? You can't tell me the, the color of the Google. It's like red, color of the blue, and green or something. If they were to swap colors one day, would you notice? Well, yeah, actually, I, I definitely would notice that, that because. Uh, seem to recall the answer to those questions. I, I God, every time I go to click something. Exactly. And, and the back and the front of the wall are white. It doesn't have to render and your the sides of the wall are that head. color. And then it just it's the same as that. So the tiny sliver you that actually is not pay right. To. That's Everything not else right. around you could be That's constantly changing and you wouldn't even notice. So then how do we know if we are actually experiencing Why are they they're talking about the how same stuff know? over and over and over? Well, it's one of them uh, games that'll drive you absolutely up the wall. You know I didn't click the wall, I clicked a sticker. Come on. Uh, for example, you could just be a brain okay. in a jar that's okay. being fed neural inputs. Oh, and shut up. You are a the brain in a jar where somebody is feeding you Kellogg's cornflakes. You uh, and if you couldn't the tell the matrix. difference, then you would sure. love yeah, Kellogg's and you wouldn't eat anything it. else. I didn't mean to do that twice, and now there I'm screwed. There is something called lucid dreaming. God! Stage two is much harder. Closely inspecting reality. For example, lucid dreamers say that in a dream, they're able to pinch their nose but still breathe through it, or that they're unable I to closely this. inspect themselves in a mirror. I got this. Come on! However, um, recent research I hope anybody. This is only possible under certain conditions. I hope anybody I'm watching is uh, dive into the not here, flipping out. There are different phases of sleep, and during different phases, you experience different types okay, of dreams. Okay, turn that wall. Some dreams are almost completely indistinguishable from reality. Turn that. Although we tend to forget them when we wake. Okay. Turn the Breaking ceiling. News coming out of Tard County, Wyoming, along with the Breaking news coming out of Tard County, Wyoming. Ronald McDonald's is on the loose, and he's out for blood. So anybody that ordered him a chicken in the last five minutes is going to get bitch slapped by a clown. John McCullough may be behind both abductions. Both children are believed to be in danger. Change that back. Any information, please call 911. Change that. Change that. There's a story I'm hearing from giggling, the third century BC and I don't like it. Philosopher Zhuang Zhao that illustrates the nature of Hearing a lot of giggling. I dreamt I was about a Boy, they're really, it's really trying to test me. Then I woke. God dang it! Now I wonder. I look stupid right now. Bam. Just gotta kind of make my rounds. Oh damn! Didn't mean to click that. Click that. Uh, yes! Establishing connection. You do that. Hello, Thomas. We noticed some abnormalities in your brain readings. We are currently investigating the cause of the interferences. Please remain patient with us. For now, we will be conducting the interview. In the l latest memory, you were still in the classroom. No, I was not. Did it look like you could be in an old asylum? Yes, it did. Were you in bed? Yes, I was. I wanted to touch myself. Did you hear a radio pro- Yes, yes, I could. Timothy McClough is 12 year old. I'm saying that wrong, McCullough or some shit. White male, short brown hair and blue eyes. He was wearing a blue t-shirt and gray shorts. Did you see or hear Timothy McCall? Uh, I actually, no, I did not. Did you see or hear his father, Jeffrey McCullough? McCullough? Again, he is a 37-year-old bald white male. No, I wasn't listening to the radio. We will continue memory stimulation once your brain readings indicate that you are ready. Stage 3. We've learned right, a lot man. from epilepsy. Let's surgery. do this. Can During I hit the vape? During seizure, bursts of electrical activity spread oh, throughout this? the brain. Whoa. In extreme cases, surgery is done. Whoa, to this is tiny. Out or isolating it's certain like a parts hallway. And in the brain. All right, so white uh, floor tile, well -known chunky of ceiling, cases is of a man uh, blue and white, HM. chunky walls, the surgeons had cut out big his open door, in an attempt to reduce his epileptic uh, seizures. Tan back They were successful drop. getting rid of his seizures, but there was a severe and side effect. And light he fixtures, was three light, any circle memories. light fixtures, blood splatters, double doors. Know, pipes. The hippocampus is used for the consolidation uh, and creation yeah. of memory. Yeah, okay, so let's give it a whirl. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to... The brain connects the brain's left and right hemispheres. 
We call those who underwent that. this process oh. split rotations. I don't remember that. And this can also reduce this. This one I'm definitely going to fail. Uh, it doesn't. That cases. was not that. And at first glance, it doesn't even seem to have any obvious side effects. Yeah. So if you ask the this is going to take me a couple tries for sure. On most cognitive this tests, one is tough. Performance. In fact, some even increased in IQ. They could go about their yeah, normal Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to get this. One. Differences. This one's going to get me. Their personalities and emotions were also the same. Oh my god. Upon closer inspection done by Roger Sperry and Michael Gazaniga in the 1960s. Yep. Patients who went this I keep clicking the same things over and over thinking it's going to change. Ah, the pipes, that's right. You know how they say that the right side of your brain controls the left side of your body and the left side of your okay, brain texture the right changed. side of your body, right? Well, when you sever the connection between those two sides of the brain... Yeah, who cares about the, the two sides of the brain, okay? Mine communicate pretty good. Uh, for example, they're Instagram able to drop ass. with their right and left hand Whoa. simultaneously. Whoa. Well, that's a neat little party trick. We can okay, experimentally so bed, reproduce a wide yeah. range of more interesting behaviors. That changed. Oh, this one's tough, dog. The first experiment dog. conducted by Sperry and Gazaniga had a simple... Oh, answer. this one's bad, the bro. The patient would sit in front of I two hate lights, this. One of which could be viewed I can't by believe the I'm right actually doing this. by the left. The lights would each randomly flash. That's when starting asked to get which to me, lights guys. flashed, the patient would only say the light on the right flashed, despite the fact that both lights flashed. It's getting to so me, bros. see the light flash on the left. Well, this is where it gets interesting. Pipes. When asked to point at the lights that flashed, Blood splatter was different. Managed to point Notice at both. that. Right. So they, they, I they was checking see. that one. I was wrong. Yes, but when asked, they still said Door. they only saw the flash on the right. Why is that? Change. It's because the center for speech in the brain is usually located in the left hemisphere okay. of the brain. So when asked to I don't think, yeah, respond, that changed. only okay. that hemisphere was capable of doing so. That hemisphere right. of the brain can only see the light on the right. Since the connection what? between the two what hemispheres is changed? severed, oh. the right hemisphere couldn't communicate what it saw to the left hemisphere. Come on! I'm about to get ahead. When asked to point, each He's got side me. of the brain has access to one I'm arm. done, so. The right side was able to control the left arm to point when the light flashed. So, uh, it uh seems what? Like there could be two independent minds. What? What? Soul that independently perceive and act. But how come the patients? Oh, that was being, trippy. Would the left side of the brain realize that it's not receiving any information from that? That was trippy, dude. Yeah, that's a good question. In another experiment, the researchers showed two. Oh, different I did not like that. Hemispheres of a split brain patient. That hurt my brain. The left hemisphere saw a picture of a chicken. Skull. Yeah, that was the bad. Saw a that screwed me up royally. Experimenters then showed a large selection of pictures and asked the patient. Yeah, I hated that. That was not scene. fun. The patient's right hand pointed to a chicken because of the chicken claw. Not fun the at all. The patient's left hand pointed to a shovel because of the snow. A lot of, a lot lot of you guys are probably slapping yourself in the face. Chicken. Look, my memory is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Chicken. This makes sense because his left hemisphere, which is responsible for speech, yep. saw the picture of the okay. chicken. Okay. So keep here's keep spinning. When asked door. What his other hand was that looks like shovel, that. That looks like that. Without hesitation, said, All right. "You need a that, shovel that, to clean that, up the chicken shit." That, that. Now the patient wasn't. I did not mean to do that. The left hemisphere. God, brain stop! Legitimately believes that's what he pointed at. I'm, I'm head. They've his got me. It's got me. I'm dead. On the spot. I'm done, so. All this confabulation. So why did he confabulate? One popular explanation is that okay, is it spinning me around like time. it's what our left hemisphere just naturally Bam. does? Ah, it creates stories to explain our actions and feelings okay, to ourselves. Good. This is why Door. the patients don't feel any different. That, our conscious that. perception of the self that makes decisions is mostly an illusion. God, that it's screws me up more than anything. Being to have an objective, that right there, perspective on themselves at all times. Wait, wait, what do you mean that we can calculate all the time? Well, <clears throat> have you ever wondered uh, why yeah, you did okay. or said something? You tend to kind of just come oh up with an explanation my God. story and okay. confidently believe it to be true. But that's all it is. Oh, God, so, this thing is fucking no me! Oh, this is terrible! You gave to yourself is the true reason behind your decision. In fact, a okay. lot of research seems to okay. point to the idea that our subconscious okay. mind is mostly making our decisions, right. and our conscious mind is just a long ride. Didn't mean uh, to do this that. This is a little bit beyond my area of expertise. So they're why are they changing the like that? To a that was weird. To seven seconds before they are even consciously Door. aware that they've made them, which has Wall. some truly interesting implications. Floor, wall, floor. 
interesting. Bam, so bam, the left bam. Is the one that we speak to and oh my god, everything changed. The walls, the ceiling. The side of the brain Woo! It's getting bad, dog. The left hemisphere is change, the change, uh, change, 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 that, change, it would still change, 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 if change, true, change. Oh my god. I'm going as fast as I can. Makes decisions. How do we know that that part okay. of the brain isn't conscious? Good. All, the ability to good. Uh, 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 no, we're good. No, 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 no. Light fixtures. No, one patient described how when getting dressed, Wall. and would try to put on his pants while the other. Oh no! Dressed, oh my out. brain, bro. Also talked about an this is terrible. Strike his wife with his left hand while his right hand grabbed the left hand <laughs> in an attempt to stop it. Also, the oh brain my the god, brain responsible for a lot of other important tasks. Stop such it. As facial recognition. If you were only the left hemisphere in your oh, brain, what do I do? Oh, <laughs> well? yeah, this is so testing my brain, bro. In healthy humans, are there two? I feel like I'm literally cycle. being tortured not right now. How does splitting it in two suddenly? <laughs> Okay, so, I don't know how many levels there are to this game, but that was starting to really mentally tax me. And I don't normally give up on games, and I don't know how many levels there are. Let me research this real quick, and then I'll make the decision on whether or not I'm going to stop. Okay, so from my understanding, people have made uh, multiple videos on this. It doesn't look like anybody's beat it, which entices me to want to but definitely not in this episode if i continued on there's probably five phases and they get harder and harder this is one of those games that really challenges you to your core so if you guys would like to see a second episode of this game or it mentally messed with you as much as it did me just let me know your thoughts down in the comment section and then i'll make a decision on whether or not i want to play this ever again <laughs> but it, it's it's pretty cool yeah, I don't think of it as like a psychological horror. I think of it more as a memory test that punishes you for getting things wrong, which is not a bad thing. That can actually help your memory because there's nothing better than something bad happening for you to learn. That's the whole point of learning. If everything was good and happy, if it gave you a candy barts for losing, hey, Vlad, here's a candy barts you lost, then I wouldn't want to, you know, I wouldn't even want to try, to be honest. I'd want to lose every time. Because I like Canty Barts. That's just, you know, that's me. And uh, so, yeah, anything that bad happens, you tend to remember more than uh, something that, you know, good that happens. It's more or less like a mental scar. It's a good way to learn uh, not necessarily punishment. I guess you could say punishment. But anything that's unpleasant will be burned in your memory more so than ever. So it's a pretty cool brain exercise. I don't know. But again, let me know down in the comment section what you think. I guess that about wraps it up for the video. Uh, yeah, you can like if you want, subscribe. You know, it's up to you, man. If you like the content, then uh, do so. But check me out on Instagram. We're trying to get to 30,000 followers. We're getting pretty close. Uh, I have a TikTok now. And it's all down in the description. Check, check out my merch, though. My merch is doper than anyone's. And prove me wrong. Just go check it out. I have really good merch. I live stream on Saturday around 12 o'clock EST. And if you want to support the channel, check me out on Patreon. We are doing a band gameplay series for the $10 tiers and up. Uh, completely unfiltered. And uh, I, I go all out on those. They are very awesome. And we're going to be adding to that here soon. I sound like a broken record. But I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next one.